Hi guys, hello and welcome. This is Captain Cooper and I'm back here today. No complaints, no, 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 no complaints. Today I'm back here with learning. Now we have good video, video for learning, you know, because learning is very good. You open people's idea and mind, you know, but I don't want to put this, uh, stupid videos here 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 meanwhile people they need to learn to learn learn more you know because always when you learn things then you get ideas you know yeah people learn through people yeah because what i know maybe some people they don't know and what people know maybe i don't know that's why some people also they go on the youtube here and say these trips and tricks you know what i mean yeah yes so it's your first into this, this channel please subscribe and put the bell there so anytime I post any video if you speak English gentlemen ladies and gentlemen grandpa and grandmas you'll be able to understand all right okay let's get into it today we're going to talk about uh, how to become experienced coxswain coxswain because there's a video there I talk about coxswain but uh, people they don't know what is coxswain? Some people they know, some people they don't know. So coxswain is a speedboat captain. What is a speedboat? Speedboat is a boat, 10 meters boat. Six is a lower than 10 meters boat. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 meters boat. But it's with outboard machine, you know? Yes. So that's a coxswain. So if you want to be experienced coxswain, experienced coxswain how to become experienced coxswain so today i'm gonna give you tips and listen carefully mm -hmm. yeah first of all if you want to become a coxswain one tip i give you first you need to swim yeah <laughs> to be a best swimmer not very best but at least you can swim longer you can swim one half an hour one hour or two hours just swimming and you know also also to float you know and after that now you can become a crew crew for a speedboat the coxswain will be telling you this will be telling you this but come work that crew at least for uh one year why because you're going to learn some things there which kinds of things you're going to learn first you're going to learn how to tie the ropes you know to tie the ropes you know the cords the ropes uh, how to put the fenders, how to clean the board, how to refill the fuel, how to small things with machine, you know. Sometimes you can know how to start the engine, you know. Sometimes how to put forward, you know, things like that, you know. Helping, helping, how to clean your boat, you know. Work crew at least one year. So when you work crew one year, then you already uh, want to be a coxswain, you have to go to course. Because yeah, when you go to course there, you have to get a certificate because you cannot be a, a coxswain without certificate. Like me, I have my certificate in my country and that certificate from Europe. I have both. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> That's what I want to teach you. You know what I mean? So when you go there to school, so these things, because you already crew for one year, so these things about the ropes will be coming there, things about... Uh, about how to uh, how to how to how to rescue somebody yeah they show you that school coxswain school yeah when you're going to get your certificate they show you how to rescue somebody they show you how to put the life jacket on they show you how to 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 plan your chart you know they show you how many things you have um, things that uh, the, the requirements of the board and everything so those things everything you learn there you know so after that you learn those things practically and then you'll get exam so when you pass then you'll become a coxswain you know what i mean yeah but coxswain you can just not be a coxswain because uh, my dad has a boat and you're just going with the speedboat like that that thing is very dangerous and can kill you yeah believe me can kill you so you cannot just jump a boat and just go there you say no speedboat go to the first day and drinking and everything no 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 that thing is very very dangerous so that thing you should never do if i was you no no i tell my dad i need my captain to go with me 
so me at least i can enjoy and drink because nowadays people they go with speedboard they drink they do bad things that's why they crash here every day it's accident of speedboard here every day people they have fight here every day and this and this you know what i mean because they don't know yeah those things you should know always you have to follow the rule okay now you already pass the exam now you become a coxswain you know so you become a coxswain first of all if you want to be a, a, a coxswain what you have to have you as yourself first yourself you need to have a dry bag you know dry bag dry bag is a dry bag you know the one you can put your belongings that can never get wet your money your telephone and everything and you cannot afford that dry bag just you can get a dry bag that you can hang it here on on your uh, front of you but that's not handy no dry bag you have to get the dry bag the one that you hang here because yeah it's easy you know so after that you already get your dry bag you also need sunglasses but you need sunglasses with the with the with the with the with the with the handler not the holder sunglasses with that thing here you know on the back so even when uh, it's fly then you cannot see because most of speed, of speedboard they are white so when they are white and the sun is shining so it can affect your eyes that's why the all uh, cocks when you need sunglasses yeah that's very important thing you need to have sunglasses after that you need to have watch you know watch like this any watch but it's waterproof and everything so that you can you can uh, yeah you know but you need to have a watch yeah also yeah waterproof okay <laughs> so that's how it is to become a coxswain those things first you need the basic things and first of all you have to look smart and also you have a uh, this how do you call it shorts but this uh, hawaii shorts not hawaii this uh, only uh, swimming pants but swimming pants with pocket to two pockets and a t-shirt or polo you know but mostly you should have a uh, dark blue dark blue or a uh, brown you know thing like that or a uh, dark blue and white you know that's how it is okay and you look smart because this i'm talking to these cooks when who are working to the to africa to the tourist destination you know when the tourist destination always your cooks when always when you have a trip with tourists most of tourists they're on time so it, it always you need to be on time that's the first thing you need to know because when you went to school and everything and you've been crew there for uh, one year you already know about the tide yeah the tide coming in tide coming out because mostly asia and africa there's no locks so their tide is coming in and out and you already know the ways too when the tide is low you can go you can never break your engine and everything those things you already know if you already crew for one year you know how to put fenders you know how to tie your rope because uh, rope always when you tie them you have to tie them that when it's emergency is faster to open and go to untie and go but you cannot tie rope tie rope just like a like a like a, a cow in the ranch no man it can be emergency that the boat is going to sink so if you don't have a knife and everything you'll sink you know things like that so we have to tie rope that is uh, very easy to open or to un you know to unlock just one knot you go to tie the knot yeah that's how it is so yeah all right you already have that so already bring your application to the boss there to become a coxswain you have your boat already right so what you have to to, to check first when you have your boat yeah tip i give you fast 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 and more for most above all anchor mm, check the anchor first how many anchors do you need two anchors yeah we need one for using every day and you need one emergency you should have two anchors and first of all check the chain stand still chain longer chain and after that you have to find the you have to check also the uh, the buckle for the chain if it's nice and everything and it's tight and after that you have to find the longer rope yeah because you never know where you go yeah maybe you go fishing you go where you go where you never know because guess they want to go everywhere yeah so you have to check anchor with long rope so this one is the basic anchor you're gonna use every day but the spare anchor also you need anything can happen so you have to have two anchors so yeah when this anchor is stuck then you can have this but you can never have a, a stress over i don't have anchor cannot anchor anymore or 
at this, I want to go home. No, you have to have two anchors. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing you should check in your boat. Two anchors and you have to find also two ropes. Yeah, two ropes like longer. Let's say uh, three, four, five, six meters. Yeah, two of them, six meters. Yeah. And also when you put the anchor, because uh, mostly like a 10 meters uh, boat or something, the anchor, the rope, you only put it, but always you have to roll something nicely. You know, you roll it, you roll it, you take well, like one, you roll it nicely. So when you toss the anchor, everything goes good. But not, uh, not you put just everything here in the top sitavi. No, no, when you put some sitavi, shit, because you can throw your anchor, and when you throw it, you throw the whole rope. <laughs> so that's gonna happen. So you have to make sure that you take the first rope from the anchor, you tie it somewhere inside the board there. So even when you throw anchor, but the rope always have to be in uh, on point. Yeah. So things like that. Because mostly when you have jetty, then you have like three ropes too. So because maybe you are going there to bring the guests, so you have jetty here. So yeah, you have to tie your boat front and the back. Yeah, and waiting for the guests. Or you can just anchor somewhere there and waiting, you know. But you also have three or four ropes, different kind. Yeah, that's how it is. So when that is done, you also have to check life jackets. Yeah, you have to have four life jackets, five or six. It depends with how many uh, your boat's uh, passenger can carry, you know. Four, five, six passengers, everybody need to have like life jackets from kids to, you know. Life jackets, there. After the life jacket, you already check. Life jacket is good. Okay. Check the fenders. Fenders, you need four fenders. This side two and this side two. And with a longer, longer boat, you need six fenders. Yeah. Because all boat you have need storage. There's storage there. Yeah. So you check the fenders, everything. You have your six fenders. Very good. After that, what you have to check again? You have to check uh, first aid box. Kit. First aid kit. Mm -hmm. First aid kit have to be there. Always first aid kit. And after first aid kit is there, everything, fire extinguisher. Why? Because that is a petrol. Most of these uh, outboard machines and speedboats, they use petrol. So you never know. Fire can come every time. Yeah. So you need to have fire extinguisher that works. Because fire extinguisher always, you have the, you have the, uh, the gauge meter so when you see it's green or lower then you know already that you're gonna you're going to be trained there in the <laughs> in the in your course you know things like that fire extinguisher you really check your fire extinguisher you need to get spanner check the spanner at least spanner plug spanner spark plug spanner spark plug uh, spark plug spanner and the spanner from the the filter those two you must have them in your boat. Why? You never know. Maybe the sometimes the engine cannot start because uh, sometimes people they mix oil too much into the engine or something. So when you open the plug, you clean them and everything. Because when uh, you have a, 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 this a plug spanner and everything, it also can open the filter. Yeah, the toolkit. It also have a, you have spanner for filter and a plug spanner. Yeah. And then also you need a brush wire. Why? That will for cleaning the plugs, spark plug, you know, cleaning them because their fuel is uh, bad. That's not Europe, Africa and Asia. I'm talking about, all right? Tourist de destination. Okay. When you have like that, so you have to check tank. How many? Because most of speedboat, they have tank built in. Yeah. Tank built in, you have to know how many liters do you do because most of the uh, speedboard they go with the 80 liter tank built in yeah built in 80 liter but uh, 80 liter because now 80 liter we must have uh, jerry cans for 20 liters 20 liters 20 liters so when you buy them 20 liters 20 liters 20 liters you mix them already with oil half liter half liter half liter but uh, now when you buy like 80 liters 80 liters you if you have a full tank then you need to have at least a spare, only spare, spare for the 20 liters. Yeah, spare, mix already, just put it aside in your boat. Of course, it will be heavy, but just in case, you never know. Because most of the uh, fuel can, can get to wet or can get to water, you know. Things can happen, you never know. Because this uh, the outboard machine, sometimes they can leak. 
you know, and you never know. So yeah, you, you also need your spare fuel too. Yeah, 20 liters mixed already. Just put it wherever because the, yeah, the boat like 10 meters or you have, you have too many storage there. Yeah, my friend, it's safe for you, you know, because always it's better safe than sorry. Yeah, and one tip I have to give even if you're a smoker, don't smoke in your boat, never, never smoke. After that, you already have those things. Uh, uh, check your tank first. You know how many, how many uh, the thing, how many the fuel you get, how the capacity of fuel. Yeah, if yeah, because most of the speedboat they have maximum eighty liters. Yeah, maximum. Yeah, so you take hundred liters with twenty extra. You put it extra there. Not on the jerry can. You put on the this uh, machine tank because that is handy you know because when anything happen you just chop the the thing and plug it on the machine and you're good to go yeah because if there's water there there's nothing can do yeah so you just chop it out and uh, plug it there already on the extra tank so you're good to go at least it's up but yeah you can go slow but you'll make it because people when you go fast they drink it too much but when you go slow it doesn't drink so you can go slow, maybe you're far away, you're not where, you already call wherever. Because sometimes in Africa, people, they go to archipelagos. And these archipelagos, sometimes there's no boats. Yeah. So at least you can go to a shore somewhere. You call for help wherever somebody bring you something, you clean your filter or wherever. Yeah. And you're good to go. But you have extra, extra fuel, you know. Yeah. That's what happened. So when you already have that. You're good to go. You already checked those things. I told you everything. Everything is there. Uh, one thing you have to check. You have to check the lights now. You have to check the light from the port side and the starboard. You have green and red. These lights, they have to work too. You have to check them because you never know. Maybe you're traveling in the night. So and you don't have this starboard, starboard light or the, uh, the, uh, the port side the lights. Also, is dangerous. Yeah. So we make sure that these lights are working. Yeah, after that, you have to uh, to make sure the bilge pump is working. What is bilge, bilge pump? Bilge pump, it, bilge pump is a pump inside the, your boat. This pump is bailing out water every time when it's uh, when the when the water is full because most of the speedboat get wet. So with the wavy and these rough seas and everything. So, but you also have switch. You can put it automatic. But when you put it automatic, the battery will go low. So that's one thing you have to do. No. So always you have to make sure every other time you check under there on the back because this sometimes when uh, this engine, this engine have uh, how do you call it? This machines. Maybe you have two fifty Yamaha, two fifty Yamaha times two. These engines are strong, very strong. So when uh, you go fast, the vibration it makes that down there to the uh, bolt there, the, 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 the screws, down to the screws there vibrating. So when it's vibrating, when it's a long time, maybe you have, uh, let's say one year at the boat, they start leaking, the silicone will start leaking, leaking. So yeah, the bilge pump should be working. So every time, you, even in the morning, when you go to your boat, you have to check there. Because most of when you're in the cops, you can never get a brand new boat, no get a used board so you have to check that when they are leaking or everything because mostly the tank is on the back and on the back there there's big beach pump under next to the tank yeah so you make sure you check it yeah it's working because when it's working you can just put it on tick when you put it on then you can hear you are, and then you can you look then you see yeah it's bailing water out or something when it's not working report immediately and get repair because you never know because this build beach pump is helping while well, it's the sea is rough because when the sea is rough the water is coming in it's yeah when you 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 are you are squashing the waves cha, cha, the water is springing it's coming in it's coming in so when you don't put, put this build pump automatic there on the back when you look next to the tank it will be full yeah so you have to put, always when the sea is rough and you're traveling you have to put this build pump uh, on yeah, because when you're traveling, mostly the machine alternator is charging the battery. But this bilge pump, you don't have to leave it uh, in the night or no, will kill your cells. Yeah, because most like Yamaha 250, <laughs> both of them, like two, 
you have to use the uh, the self the uh, how do you call it you have to use the key yeah yeah and also one tip i have to give you this key stop switch or kill cord yeah always you have to put the cock why the cock is the thing that uh, you put them in so even when you drop them on the water they uh they cannot uh they cannot uh sink the float you know and most you should have spare keys just in the boat mm -hmm. because you can forget your key and you're late so you forget your key yeah, you have a spare key and you're good to go you know what i mean yeah so things you have like that but you have to put it where nobody knows only you and nobody should know that you have spare keys in your boat no because it's dangerous somebody can just come and fuck with you you know okay so when you already check those things okay you're good to go but uh, the lights are working but uh, starboard and port side okay good but also you need a light on front just a light also on the stand you need a light on the back yeah small one on the back you need the left and on front you need the middle yeah and also you need the spotlight with one million colors or just like that because sometimes you can go to the places where there's no navigation bearing so yeah it's night and somebody will see you want to see you somebody is hearing the uh the sound but it doesn't know where it's coming from but when you see the flash chop chop because you only flash it one two three yeah you flash it after three seconds four seconds you flash it again when it's dark 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 you know when there's no light yeah you flash it three to four seconds because there's a fisherman also they use the boats but they don't have light yeah so if you don't know yeah and mostly mostly if you're coxswain always you don't have to sit always you have to stand why because when you stand you can see far away but you don't see that oh me i'm going going no you 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 how do you say it you stand yeah you don't see it my friend no you stand and always when you go you have to listen all your ears have to be behind the engine yeah engine anything can happen because the engine sometimes you know the seaweeds can get injured so when you hear the one engine is doing ah, ah, you stop the engine immediately and you tilt the machine you, you use stream you, you use stream you tilt machine and when you look maybe it's seaweeds because when your machine racking the seaweed your propeller you cannot go fast and the fuel consumption will go fast yeah you know things like that yeah and when you go now to a show next to the jetty where you see too many boats, man, you don't have to go fast. Why? Because you're going to break another boat with waves. You don't go fast. You go slow, 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 only slow. But don't come there to, to squash the boats there on the wall. Because you want to show people. No, people will hate you, my friend. People that will be screaming. No, 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 no. Do that. Yeah. And now to pack is very easy. I already told you yesterday. Always when you want to pack always against the current because always when you have jetty you have uh, two places we have the places you pack when the tide is going out and the places you pack when the tide is coming in so always when you pack you have to against the tide when the tide is coming in we want to pack against the tide easy yeah and take the gear out slowly 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 take the gear out and see the current yeah when the current is coming in always against the current you'll pack nicely but when you follow the current you never pack nicely you never and always when now let's say for example this is jet jetty and the current is coming in it's very easy to pack why you just go slow slow until next to the jet like this when you take the gear out just like this a little bit and then you take everything out and then the wind will bring you there yeah and mostly like uh, this uh 10 meter boat then you need a crew too but you are coxswain so you only give the order i put the fender and everything you always stay there to accelerate you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah and always your boat have to be clean yeah because when the guests they see the boat is clean they're happy every time when the get, guest goes out with the cabin the boat is clean yeah because mostly of the sand here here then it's dirty dirty and always also you have to make your crew not to put the ropes here everywhere everywhere because it can it can take somebody's leg you know and fall in the water so ropes everything have to be hidden yeah everything have to be hidden and your boat have to be clean and mostly you have to have like let's say 10 liters fresh water in your boat why it is good 
and also we have also sanskrit for the uh, for the for the tourists because they can forget their sanskrit and everything yeah you should do after the sanskrit there and everything so cream you know <laughs> yeah 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 cream that's how to to be a coxswain you know and also to be a coxswain when uh, now the sea is very very rough please please don't go to a show no because they when you go to a show you're traveling next to the shore then the the sea is very very rough there go a little bit deep yeah next to the shore always sea is very rough go deep a little bit deep and you always when you're against the you're against the uh, the waves what you do you only accelerate when you're climbing on on the waves and when you go down you you bring it back yeah you reduce the speed you accelerate you reduce the of course it's a job big job but yeah you need your guests to travel safely accelerate and always for example now this is a channel and it's very calm and there is a speedboat front of you and you want to pass him always don't go aside no 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 because it's waves gonna make you look like shit because yeah always just go behind him just behind him behind him behind him and if you want to pass him you take zigzag a little bit you go you know what i mean that's how it is but don't go he's going like this and just go like this and no 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 then even your boat won't catch because his waves will bring you like this yeah you think that you're going to sink really so always you have to follow him on the back like this yeah on his back 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 and you're ready now to overtake him you just go zigzag one two three and then you go that's how it is you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah and uh yeah that's how to become a good coxswain yeah. and good coxswain always you have to be on time yeah and your machine too you know you know to know things about machine how to clean the plugs shit and this and this you know what i mean yeah and you are both always uh, two times in a week or two times a month you put it on dry dock you clean the mold there then it'd be easy yeah to go you know what i mean traveling safe you know yeah and your boat always clean yeah you have everything you know what i mean and don't smoke in your boat no 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 never smoke and we also have uh, this boat with there because when the sun is hot you have this sunscreen so sometimes you can think that oh it's too hot let me put the sunscreen when i go no 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 put it down why because with the fuel consumption this sunscreen <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll drink too much and secondly when there's too many waves oh my god my god then they get broken yeah two waves will pam 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 this thing will broken yeah so when you see this uh, sunscreen you can put it down put it down nicely and you know what i mean nice yeah that's how to uh, become a good coxswain you know what i mean yeah and always it's like that you have your boat there you know you pack your boat if it's not on the morning you pack next to people always 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 you have to be to a show don't stay at home or tell your crew man be there because sometimes tide is coming in and sometimes tide is coming is going out so when you pack uh, there next to the people because people next to the jetty people they pack on the road so when the tide is coming in always you have to anchor far away when you anchor far away then you have a rope here you're going to tie to the jet but when the water the tide is coming in the boat is going high you know so when the tide is going low the rope will get loose so when there's nobody there to tie the rope a little bit harder yeah you have problem if there's no good fender or everything your machine will go there and hit somebody's boat or something because the rope is loose so you never know where your boat will go will go like this will go like that so but you are sure in the night or something then you can at least tie the boat nicely and look it nicely you know what i mean but mostly i'm telling you when you have this like speedboat like this man don't pack next to people like this no man pack it put a mooring mooring how do you say put a 150 kilo under the cement in the drum yeah when it's dry there and then you bring it to the big boat then the mooring but when you put it the mooring there put with the light yeah so when the yeah, light will be on but you have to have an extra battery that's only for light because anybody can see that this is the boat so nobody can beat you hit you hit you like this no no yeah and you have your surfboard yeah because yeah when you lock everything there man then you have your surfboard man just good to good to go every time so when you go there in the morning 
before you go you take your surfboard so when uh, when uh, you already uh, get your morning you want to go you 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 try your surf your surfboard there on the on the more you are morning nobody can come there yeah so that's how it is yeah but when you park with these people here men always you have trouble because with these ropes and they tied in and tied up men always you have trouble it never be good because you can tie rope you said okay you tie the rope but when the tide is coming in around three four o'clock in the morning you're sleeping your boat can get dragged again yeah you not get dragged the anchor will get dragged up so the anchor get dragged so in this boat will go to another boat which is this side or if you next to the jetty you'll sink because your your bow will go under the jetty there so in the jetty the the, the tide is coming up coming up so let's say one uh, your bow thick stuck under the jetty yeah you'll sink my friend you see so yeah the idea I give you this uh, low time places put a mori easy yeah. and nobody can park there no with the light mm. that's how to be become a good coxway and the good coxway also need to know the ways you know because my most, most uh, places in africa or asia we do have archipelagos and these archipelagos where the tide is low we do have rocks we do have uh, because sometimes they grow this ground is growing you know sand is growing so you can think oh there's no water here but always when the water always making corner on the the channel always the sand there you know always so yeah you can pretend it's good is the road but yeah one day you can just mix it miss it yeah so if you don't know the way always please if the tide is high please go nicely and see stand always stand because it can be floating raft you never know people they cut mangrove there and everything something can happen so when you stand you can see far away yeah so you can see this you can see this you can see this you know what i mean yeah that's how to become a good coxswain and we also you need, need to know how to use compass direction yeah but compass direction is tricky because this tide coming in and coming out when the current is a little bit uh, trouble yeah very very trouble mm -hmm. why because you can measure the compass direction while the tide is coming in the next time you're using the compass direction while tide is going out so it'd be like that so always when you're going to archipelagos or something always you have to measure your backwards you know backwards so you know that oh me i measure that that uh, tree you know or come from here i measure this this tree or i measure this uh, this wherever i measure this but you know that you follow that you're in a good way yeah that's always uh, you can never fail but in the night you can fail because hey, amen that's why it's not necessary that you don't have to travel in the night but you don't have to go in the archipelagos because man there is shit. I already get lost one day too, yeah? And I use compass, I use everything. But man, every time I was going, going the places I want to go, it was uh, going for a uh, one and a half hour. And I see already two hours up going. So when I'm going, now I feel the waves. Gigi, gigi. Hey, I thought, hey man, what's going on? So I liked, because when you want to know the sea, the deep sea, you like the, the, the light in the, in, the, in the water. So when you let the light in the water, you see how refreshing is. Man, I saw it was deep sea, deep sea, my friend. Ah, I turn around, my friend. Mm. I turn around, I turn around. Yeah, I turn around back, and I go, I go within half an hour, and then I find my way back. Yeah, but that is a place because that place always is a ghost. People they say is a ghost there. <laughs> ghost, yeah, ghost was taking people. You know, many sails they already sunk there too many times. The Chinese boat also sank there for the centuries. Yeah, so this place is too many ghosts. That's why sometimes people get lost and too many accidents there happen, you know. Yeah, in my place there, we had a Chinese boat sunk with 250 people. No, 250, 500, I think. Even right now, we have a village just there, it's called Chinese Chi. Yeah, you know, there's Chinese people there, Chinese family. Yeah. Even the Chinese people, they come there. <laughs> yeah. To, to look their people, you know, take photos and this and this, hey, man, yeah. That's our history, you know, so yeah, it's Indian Ocean, so yeah, that's how it is. So traveling in the night, when your captain speedboat, 
please, please always travel with high tide if you use your compass. High tide that will make sure that the current is not going strong. You'll back it. But we don't go with this uh, current, speed current. No, no, no. You'll fail. Yeah, you'll fail, my friend. But if the place with the channel is easy. But we, my place, the problem is first you go to the channel. And after channel, you have like another leg. So with this another leg, you also have another channel. Another leg, but it's big now. Yeah! <laughs> then that's why now, you, before you enter to that leg, there's another open sea here. The way to open sea. So when you measure this compass to pass this open sea, so when the tide is coming in, you'll fail. Mm -hmm. That's in the night. So mostly in the raining, people are already lost. There are too many types and everything. But the place I, I get lost, I didn't get lost on this one. No, I get lost on the another one. Because the another one, now you cross, now you go to another one. It's next to the border of Somalia and Kenya there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a dangerous place there. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, you know. So, man, with Coxwell, you have to be smart. And always we need to travel. Travel night and day, night and day. And the places you know, always you have to be careful. You don't have to do this, do this. And always you, the place you don't know, please don't go speed. No, no. Always when you have guests, man, you know that this place I don't know. Go slow, but you don't have to go speed that you know. To speed you can go when the tide is high. Yeah, high tide, man, no problem. You can go full speed. And first of all, full speed, man, when you go in the channel, man, it's nice, man. Because you <laughs> that thing is very nice, but it's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So too many people die there. Yeah, too many people die there, my friend. Mm. Die there because of these two people. See how people crash when we went to the hospital. People even got fire because they smoke. <laughs> yeah, and they know it's dangerous with fuel, but Africa, Africa, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I need to get to learn a lot. So yeah, man, when you want to become a coxswain, man, you have to follow those rules. First of all, you need to risk you because some guests can come there and uh, you cannot tell me that everybody in the world knows how to swim. Some people doesn't know, you know. Kids too, most, lots of kids, even your fellow Africans, yeah. Because you also have people from up country, from the mainland. Yeah, they come there as a guest, but most of them, they don't know how to swim. Yeah. So one of them can just, because the jetty, this is the jetty, and this is the boat. So you want to step in the boat. So in order to step in the boat, because to step in the boat, you don't have to, to wide your legs. No, you just go, you step in and go. But now, when you step and widen your legs and you're scared, the boat will, <laughs> it will wide and you jump. So if you don't know how to rescue, yeah, you lose a guest. Yeah. So first of all, if you're coxswain, you need to rescue. And that one... Before you get your certificate, they teach you how to rescue. They teach you how to do fast aids, small aids, because this, this, uh, you know, the jellyfish from here in Europe is not very, but well, the jellyfish there in Africa, man, that one when he catch you there, my friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think because of hot weather, you'll cry, my friend. Yeah, so you need how to treat that. And they also we have places, because we, some people, we go snorkeling. So the snorkeling, we go to the reef, and this reef, sometimes they're sharp. And sometimes your, your flipper, it doesn't work good, it's gone. So you want to stand and do something, yeah, you know. And then also we do have stingray. You know stingray fish, ooh, yeah. Stingray fish is very bad because that are poison. So this stingray fish is very uh, dangerous because, first of all, it's dark, dark. And when the tide is low, you cannot see him. So you can just be walking, walking, and you step on him. Yeah, when you step on him, and that's, with that uh, small thing, it, ah! Oh my God, I saw too many people, man. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That what you see there, the guy he do the stingray. Oh my God, that skunk will never go. Will never go. That thing a very, very bad poison. Yeah, but people they eat it. Yeah, <laughs> they eat it. But that fish, man, a very, very bad poison. And it's mostly is dangerous because it stays there next to the, when the tide is low and it's murky, so you cannot see him. And the color is like that. Looks like mud. Yeah. So mostly get these guys who are going to to search for crabs, you know, because crabs people they find them under the mangrove, and uh, there is a, uh, yeah, that's where the crabs they are. So yeah, you can go there and then you find this stingray is stuck there because the tide goes out and let him there. <coughs> you know what I mean? So you step on it, man. You're in shit. Mm. 
You have like two, three months, man. You never walk. Mm -hmm. Same, same as crab. You go there, the crab man, hey, crab is cutting your crab. You know what I mean? Yeah. And always offer you how to be a coxswain also. You need to know to make this, uh, how do you say it? Food. For example, now you have your tourists want to make a barbecue. Barbecue is easy. First you get your charcoal. Charcoal you buy from the from the uh, from the shop. Yeah, and you get the, the charcoal there from the shop. You can make your sauce already at home with coconut sauce and something and salad. So to make salad, rice is easy to cook. Yeah, but uh, you can also make your rice at home. But what you want, because most of tourists they love grill fish. So grilled fish and salad, salad there, and the rice already made for eight people. So what you do, you go there to cut your palm tree. Because always there on the beach, there are too many palm trees there. So you make your charcoal. After you went go fishing there, you get your charcoal, and then you scale your fish and everything. Yeah, fish, what to make fish? You make lime and your sauce and everything. After cleaning them, you make your charcoal there, and then you, you put those, uh, those uh, how do you call it? Those uh, palm trees, you cut them, you chop them. Then you make like a seed bed, you know. <laughs> one stick, one stick, four sticks down. And then you put them up. Uh, is you roll on the roll like this. Uh, then yeah. The food is ready. Because they are the fishing men, you get the fish that you learn yourself. Yeah, you eat them, yeah. Because yeah, fish there, there's too many fish in Indian Ocean, yeah. Too many fish. But with the fishing is problem. Mm -hmm. Because with fishing men you can find this. Black Marlin, man. Oh my God, my God, my God. This thing will fight with him. Ah, yeah, yeah. That thing is strong. Mm -hmm. It's very strong. Some Americans, they come there when they want to go to fishing. So we go there fishing early in the morning. So we go there fishing. There we don't use fish founder, no. We go next to the rocks. Or we follow the bad eyes. So we follow the bad. First you go there. After you go deep, deep sea, you wait a little bit. And then you start putting your apalas, cha cha cha. <laughs> you know, you throw them there. Like like a fish, three, four, five sticks there. So you throw your apalas there. And now you go first next to the because we have a reef there. That's reef. No small island there. Yeah, we have too many archipelago there. So we have small island there. There are usually dolphins there. So there first you start there. When you start there, there's fish there next to that place. So you start there coming back or going a little bit deep. So, but sometimes when you go deeper, if you don't see a show, you can get lost. Yeah, so you have to use compass direction too. So you go there a little bit and then there you can find white snapper, you can find this uh, black marlin, shark. Yeah, shark too also, we get them, shark, yeah. Shark, and this uh, kingfish, tuna, yeah, tuna too, hey, yeah, tuna, there are too many tuna there, yeah, tuna, man. And kingfish, tuna kingfish, tuna kingfish. Yeah, yeah, tuna kingfish. So you come there, when you bring them there, then you have to hang them there and sell them to the people there in the market. Then oh. the, sometimes you can go fishing and come with only one fish. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. It happened. If you're captain, yeah. so when you go fishing, man, that's the game of chance. Yeah. But mostly you have to go early in the morning. Why? Because in the night, fish are up because the water is cold, you know. But in the daytime, fish are down. Why? Because it's hot and fish, they want to stay cool. Yeah, or they're down to the rocks they are doing. But men, you can never find fish up with the, when the sun is hot. No, no, no. So that's why you have to go early, early in the morning. In the night, let's say 4 o'clock. Yeah. Because then fish, they are up there. You go there, you just row, row, row there. You go there, you go there. But when you go there in the deep sea now, you go with the gear now. Gear is only, you put, uh, how do you say, you put go, yeah, with the selectivator, you put go, and then you leave it there, and then you go like that, 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 slow. But it's going, going, and you have your palace there, and everything, yeah. You go, you pray your thing. <laughs> sometimes you catch, sometimes not. But sometimes you're lucky. Yeah, but you always have fish season, you know. Yeah, we have fish season. And we also have fish who are passing. Yeah. So you, when you see them, the bad size, you follow them. Yeah. Then you catch, catch, catch. But when you see now bad eyes, men, you don't have to put two lines, three lines. Men, put even ten lines. Then you catch them, you cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them. And you have to be fast too, yeah. 
because with lines is a little bit slow but you, when you go fishing you also go like two three crews you know who can use the manual lines but this one you pull them with the rope you just pull them like this yeah so you have to be with a strong hand my friend yeah because that's these uh, ropes can even cut your <laughs> this uh, yeah, cord can cut your finger yeah you have to be strong yeah so you have to be harder push up and everything so yeah so this uh, what tourists they do with that thing and this thing is a little bit yeah slow but when you do your manual thing faster 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 you bring faster 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 you bring faster 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 you bring yeah you know so when the tourist is fighting with this one rod you already bring five fi five fish <laughs> that's how we win you see yeah 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 so become a cocktail also you know how to fish deep sea yeah fishing also is very important yeah, with the waves, you can never get seasick. To get a seasick, medicine is very easy. You only take the, uh, drink the salty water. Yeah, drink two times. When you drink salty water, and then you'll be good. But with a captain, you can never get a seasick. No, man. Everybody's on you, my friend. So you get a seasick, you're, you're in deep shit. You hear me? Yeah. So that's a coxswain. Yeah. Coxswain is the captain of these people. But this one, man, some people nowadays they just go on this uh, speedboat wherever they just do that's when they do accident like this but people they just play with them like toys so that one now you want to be like a water ski yeah water ski you don't have like twin inches 250 250 no with water ski you only want 251 inch or 115 115 inch but with water ski what you have to do you have to put sleeper there's something is called sleeper there on the above the propeller above the fin yeah because the fin is a little bit uh, smaller so you put flipper in order to make uh, not water to to with toy so water doesn't doesn't jump too much you know yeah and then you are there but what ask you, you know also to be special uh, experience at it yeah you can just go there you say that oh me i'm a water ski guy no no what ask you need also to know how to accelerate to bring that guy up you know you need also how to, to, to uh, you need to know how to communicate with that guy. Because water ski always is nice with waves. Yeah. Because you can go zigzag, zigzag, and the guy, guy will come on the waves. Cha, cha. The waves. So you have a water ski with two, with two, uh, just like ski. Yeah. With two, two, uh, two foots. Just like, uh, let's say, uh, how do you call it? Uh, winter sports. With two things. And also we have water ski like a surfboard with the surfboard thing, yeah. So it's different. You see, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's different. So that's how it is. Mm. So with water ski also you need to be professional too, yeah. But that one I can do. I did it also for a long time. So oh, one of thing you have to know, you have to know how to bring that guy up and explain, it. because that guy to to that water ski is not like skiing. Skiing, you start like with the pizza, you know, pizza shit like this. And then you go with the mountain there, they tell you, oh, start with one leg, or oh, go like this, or oh, follow me, you know, you go like zigzag, or oh, do your stick like this. So there, there's no stick there, you pull the rope. But there you start like you're pooping. <laughs> yeah. So the guy that's like, accelerate, you're pooping. So when the guy accelerate, you'll be standing, <coughs> manually accelerating. Yeah, so if he's a professional, then yeah, you, you you learn nicely, you know. But if it's not professional, when you accelerate faster, yeah, you fall down. Yeah. Because first of all you need strong legs and you need also skills for skiing, water ski. So yeah, water ski is also like shit like that. Yeah. So to be yeah, uh, and also you have to swim too. Mm -hmm. Best best swimmer, my friend. Because everything can happen with your body, you never know. So you can go there, go there. And mostly when you bring tourists to somewhere else, always you need to stay on your boat, but don't go to follow tourists or go there somewhere to leave your boat there. No, no, never. Always stay in your boat. Yeah. Sometimes tourists, one of, tourists can get sick or one of your guests can get sick, want to go home. Yeah, you go and drop it. So when you go somewhere, you say, oh man, I have a lady, I love you. You go there kissing, kissing. Oh, but nowadays there's a telephone everywhere, yeah. Somebody can call you. But mostly anything can happen with your boat, you know, like anchoring all this shit, yeah. So, but mostly if you're coxswain, always when you go somewhere, please, please stay in your boat. Just stay there, relax there. 
yeah, listen to your music wherever do there or do fishing yeah if you have nothing to do sleep yeah, put your cover there sleep or play with your telephone to do something but don't leave your boat when you don't get somewhere no no never yeah because nowadays people you never know people they can steal your tank yeah your fuel tank you never know people can come your boat and steal the tourist belongings because most of tourists they can go there and leave their belongings in the boat so you too when you go you didn't lock the belongings yeah they can come and steal the things the fishermen yeah because the fishermen first they pretend hey hey i i did them so they come here see nobody nobody try to scare me yeah he jump already in the boat and he go so you thinking hey this tourist is complaining oh this is lost this is lost but yeah you didn't take it why because you went away yeah so always you have to stay in your boat yeah things like that Mm-hmm. What else I wanted to say? Uh, yeah, I already say with the waves here yeah, like that. Waves you also you have to know because waves to against the waves always is problem. So that one you don't have to go slow. Trim your engine always. Waves have to go under the bow. You know you have to go under and but you have to go slow, not very very. Uh, by following the waves you have to go slow because when you go fast you can go down down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, and when you overtake also another speedboat, first of all, you don't have to go just next to it with his waves. No, no, no. First of all, you never get the, uh, how do you call it? Your steer never get nicely, you know, things like that. So you have to go just behind him, behind him, behind him with his waves. Just behind him, behind him, behind him. And you are next to him, you take your zigzag, you go. Yeah. And always even when you see the speedboat pass wherever and you go, pass you overtake you coming this way this side you just pass you please slow down a little bit for the waves but just don't go the wave kada kada no 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 that's not good and always before you 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 put your speed but you have to ask everybody is everybody good you are ready to go yes lady let's get it you know what i mean but just don't put your speed already you said okay go No, some people can never sit good. And you know speed boat when you accelerate, he's always wake up, wah, and then lie. So some people might be sitting in the back with the kids so they don't know and maybe it's an open speed boat. You know people they sit up. Of course they have a laugh jacket and everything and the kid was there standing. You didn't look, you only put wah, you go. No, man. First you have to look everybody is sitting good. You know you look grandma there is good. <laughs> yeah. Because you can look there, you go there, and always even if you can, Coxwell, look back to because maybe you can be going alone. We accelerated, everybody's <laughs> swimming. <laughs> yeah, mostly if it's open speedboat. Yeah, because most of speedboat they are open and people they sit up, you know. So you can just accelerate. Ja, you look forward, you don't know. Always look back. Yeah, you never know. Look back and before you accelerate, ask everybody if everybody is okay. You already sit good and when you have a guest first of all you just don't accelerate was no you go one then you go one then you go you know what i mean yeah. but don't cha 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 want to go no 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 you scare them my friend yeah people guess with grandma like you know what i mean and first of all the grandma they scare so when you don't like the speed boat like that no no that's how it is so because to become a best experienced coxway always you have to follow this when you follow this you'll be experienced coxway in the work and you last there and every day when you work with the guest your boss will be happy there's no complaint you know you'll be on toes you know and always you have to be on time that's the first thing on time second thing you are both clean always clean clean always and always when anything can happen your boss call you wherever and guest you ready but not your guest call you or you cannot be there no 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 when it's season is season and you know that I'm available because you're captain you know that's how it is captain mm-hmm. and your crew also have to be smart yeah but not crew and also crew need to speak english because some guess they do english and some foreign language too because you cannot be uh, there in the tourist destination You only speak English. No, you have to speak uh, Dutch. You have to speak uh, German. You have to speak uh, uh, English. You have to yeah, uh, English, Dutch, German, and you have to speak. Uh, how do you call it? 
Italian. Yeah, because most of Italian people, they don't speak English. That's the problem. Swedish, yeah, they speak English. But most of Italian people, they don't speak English. So you have to learn Italian. Yeah, you speak Italian. And after that, you have to speak a little bit foreign language, only small things. You speak like uh, Swedish a little bit. You speak like uh, Chinese a little bit. You speak Japanese a little bit, you know. These things you have to you know, yeah, but not only English. Some of guests, they don't speak English, no. French too, you have to speak French because the most of French also, they speak, they don't speak English, yeah. So you have to know their coxswain, your crew cannot understand, but at least you can understand dangerous things, yeah, you know. Languages is important. You don't know, get small lessons, get a book, speak there, speak there, but at least you know basic things, yeah. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. That's in the tourist destination. But if you're a boss, you want a boat, follow the rules. Make sure you're bought of those things. And yeah, those things I told you before, things that you need in your boat, you'll be safe. Yeah. And always, yeah, yeah spare on the machine. Machine is like that. Yeah, machine always, when you finish, you know what to do. You tilt them up and everything. And you know, always when you hear machine because always when you go you hear the sound of machine when you hear any small sound of machine man never go stop and check what is it just tell the guest man i have problem let me check or when something goes slow when you have two engine one engine that we have this problem switch it off bring the guest if it's maybe uh, 10 minutes to to arrive just say the guest have a little bit problem but i drop you there then after all i check it immediately yeah so you go there you check because maybe the fuel is bad so b before that fuel going to the carburetor too much yeah you already know what is it clean filter already put it on and make rounds until it goes you know that's how to detect but when you listen machine because uh, most of these uh, engines when they have uh, water then they go rrr, rrr. they go you go speed then you hear the cutting rrr, rrr. yeah you know <laughs> yeah so when you don't do that oh my god yeah or maybe they can cut like that but maybe there were the spark plug coil thing because the spark plug this we have a coil so this coil coil uh, cord can come out because of the waves because these waves also they're pop 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 so yeah the one coil cannot cannot be stuck nicely the coil only coil coil uh, coil wire which cover the spark plug yeah so you can think oh something is something no don't panic no just go there and get your guess after that, open the cover, check these uh, coil things. If they are nicely, look the filter. If filter is good, look your fuel. Yeah, and always you have to check your fuel. Always when you wake up in the morning, before you start your engine, take your dipstick there. You don't have dipstick, take even a wood, one uh, stick. That stick, take it out and chop it in like this, and make sure because it can be leaking. Because maybe yesterday you went somewhere, you squashed the rock. Yeah, and you never know. Yeah, so because the tank built in, always when the tank is leaking, you never know because all the fuel goes to engine. Yeah, and maybe the robot can sink, but before your boat can sink, or maybe you hit something, you squash the rock, and you never know. So the tank is leaking, and you never know. So always you have to check it. Yeah, check it. You make sure that it's fuel. So if it's not fuel, yeah, then you know what to do. Never start your machine. Take your 20 liter at least bring your guests where you can go or just give them to another another your fellow uh whatever your fellow cox when you say hey, man i have a guest for you i need my commission <laughs> you know why i have a problem with my sheet my tank is leaking you know what i mean yeah yeah that's what you have to do yeah and always see when you open in the morning check the water there open there next to the tank make sure everything is dry also when you go after the trip check everything make sure that everything is dry yeah because you can just say that oh me i travel good I travel. maybe one screw is losing from the engine you never know so it's leaking and you say that oh i didn't put the bilge pump because the uh the the sea was not uh, rough so you let it like that no always check check always check my friend check check where because always tank built in they are under so you have to open it to check the tank so there next day you see the screw for the machine under there they always lie under water so when one is loose yeah the silicon everything will go out yeah 
and then it will start leaking. So always before you, after your account, but check that if everything is good. Why? That's why always after the guest, you have to clean your boat. Because when you clean your boat, the old water will go down there and then you have to bail out. So when you bail out, then you know that, oh, everything is finished. And after finish, even take like five minutes just to wait to see everything is good. Yeah, when you're not in a hurry, that's your boat, my friend. You see, but check. Always you have to check. Yeah, check, check, check. Check in the morning. Check before you crank your engine. In the night, in the evening, also check. Yeah, check, check. Also, when you when you tilt your propeller, also you have to look your propeller because remember your propeller is bent. So when your propeller bent, consumption also for the fueling is going a little bit uh, high. Yeah, check your propeller if it's nice and everything. Yeah, you never know. Maybe the pin is open. <laughs> yeah. Check everything, everything, check, 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 check. And after after six months, always you have to change your gearbox oil. It's very easy. It's a tube like this. You take the, this under there next to the propeller, there's the screw there. Under it and up. No? Yeah, under and up. Two screws, I think. Yeah, two screws. Under the fin one and under, under the propeller one. So you take under the fin first, and under the propeller, and then the oil, oil will go out. And after that, you take your Laria Maluba oil gearbox, you fill it there, you're good to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So those things you have to be, if you want to be a best coxswain in the world. You know what I mean? Only in Africa and Asia. But in Europe, man, uh, you don't have to be, yeah, because in Europe, always here, they will have to do these guards, coast guards here. So anything happen, you call Mayday, wherever, they already there too. But Africa do have places that they are not seeing this coast gas forever. No, man. no risk. That's why, first of all, you should know how to risk. It. And you should go to school for coxswain and you have to get your certificate. Yeah. But just don't say that, oh, I'm a speedboat captain with that certificate. No, man. You will fail one day. Because, yeah, we have a guest. You don't know how to risk him. Yeah. You think, oh, this guy is risky and they're going to kill him. Why? Because he's panicking. Yeah. So when you don't know how to risk him, you'll shit. So that's the first thing you should know when you want to be a coxswain. And best swimmer, my friend. Yeah, best swimmer. And your boat, you have to check it nicely. Yeah, Always you have to clean it, shine it. And always you have to be fresh water there, 10 liters. When you finish with your machine, with the uh, after the trip, you pour on them. You know? When you pour on them, your machine cover will look new. Because you know when your machine run on the salty, salty, salty every time with this everything. When you don't pour fresh water on it, it looks weird. Yeah, you just pour salty, yeah. So pour f f fresh water on it, and when you clean your boat there, put put a fresh water there on the what that you call it on the panels there, on the dash dashboard. Because the speedboat you have this dashboard and this small screen there. Put the fresh water there because all those things gonna be rusty. Compass direction gonna be rusty. Things like that. Yeah. So put fresh water. They are on the standstill things also put fresh water. Yeah. Why? Because they're shining. Because you have these standstill things, the beams, which takes on the side here. Yeah. So you clean it with water and soap. First with water and salty water, soap and salty water. And after that, you spring into the fresh water. It's shining. And your body will be new. Because what I hate about this standstill, when you don't clean it nicely, they start rusty. And when you have the white speedboat, it's shit. You see rustier, 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 man, that's not good, yeah. So that's look like when the standard still you clean it, man, it's shining and shining and bright. Even guess when you go there, but they say, no, oh, man, this bottle is new, yeah. And you wipe it nicely, yeah. When you have nothing to do, waiting for your guests clean everything, you know. But because when you clean with salty water, you don't need even to use too much water, fresh water, no, no. You have 10 liters, only put in a little bit small thing and take a little bit uh, cotton wool and just pour a little bit, pour a little bit, and, you know. That's when wait. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And always have also to get the mineral water, spare bottles, like 10, just there, just in case. Because the guests, they don't drink their water, they, they don't have water made. Yeah, you do have water. Spare everything you have, even cigarette, my friend. Said I have cigarette, but I no smoke here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cigarette too. Not weed, no drugs, no. Because you don't have to give tourists drugs, no. 
because some tourists also when they take drugs they are from the rear so when they take drugs they get crazy so that's why you don't have to be be a captain do your job as a coxswain that's how it is but not all drugs drugs don't. never respect no you hear me your job is your job that's how it is right guys so that's what my video today is a little bit longer so see you next time bye bye